Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Meg's Melange of Random Ramblings for Thursday, June 15th. I'm just sitting outside right now on my porch with my real note, and I thought I would do a little podcast on downloading a book from Bookshare with the Braille Note Key Web Browser. Um, I will try to kind of give you a little introduction to it, um, tell you exactly what I'm pressing, and so forth. However, this will not really be a comprehensive introduction. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a flavor of how the Key Web Browser works. So I've just inserted my wireless card into my Braille Note, and I'm going to show you how to begin to do this. I'm just going to place the recorder next to me. I'm just going to pause. Okay, so I'm at the main menu of my Braille Note, and I'm going to go to the options menu with space with O, and then I'm going to press C to get to the connectivity menu. Connectivity menu. Here are the options in the connectivity menu. Create a new or land connection. You can create a new connection. Active connection details. You can read the details of your active connection. Bluetooth. You can set up a Bluetooth connection. Wireless Ethernet. You can use the wireless Ethernet, which is what I will be doing in a second. Review an existing connection configuration. Or you can review an existing connection. Set up options. And lastly, you can set up options. So to re- to go to wireless Ethernet, we just simply need to hit W. And it says it's currently not on, so all I have to do is press Y for yes. Yes, wireless Ethernet menu. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the Keep Web Browser with backspace and enter with I. You can do that from anywhere. In fact, we'll just go to the humanware uh, web page. Not connected. Connect using with configuration. Oh, school. Not preferred network. Ooh. Whose wireless is this, everyone? <laughs> Should I use it? No, I won't. I'm just being silly. But somebody has a network that, um... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'll use home. That's right, I forgot to connect before. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to press enter on home. Those were the three networks, um, were, were ones that I had saved. Um, school home, and then it was showing non-preferred because the non-preferred network was just sort of showing up um, as, a, as a possible network to connect to. Um, so now I'm connected um, via my home network, and um, here is the Pulse Data web browser page. To move through links, you can press spacebar, so that's all. I'll just kind of do that a few times so you can hear how that works. This link will take you to the Newmanware website. It's a very good list, actually, if you are a Braille Note user, um, and you, you're, especially if you're a new Braille Note user, it's a pretty helpful list, I thought. Um, I'm still on it, though I must confess I don't really read the, a lot of the postings. I get it in digest, and I just kind of go through it every once in a while. But um, it's, it's still a good list, so if you're interested in the Braille Note, I recommend that you kind of might want to check that out. Choose this link to subscribe to the Braille Note users list. So I'm just pressing spacebar, and um, I'm just reading the links. I, I'm having, I have the speech on as well, so Braille display. So if I didn't want to go through these links, if I knew exactly what link I wanted, I could just simply press the first letter of the link. I don't have to go into a links list or anything. I just can press. I'll, I'll press G for Google because we know we just saw that. And there it is. Um, okay, so I'm I'm going to go to the Bookshare homepage now, and to do that, you press Enter with O to open. Address press Enter for dot 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 million dot 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 million. Bookshare million. Sorry that I'm typing rather slowly. My um my dot one key is a little bit stuck, so that's not good. <laughs> Four. Okay, so. Loading. And here we are at Bookshare, so I'm going to press L for login. Login. Linking. Please wait. And it also shows linking on the Braille display when it is linking. It actually it has that on the Braille display. Now to go to my first form field, I'm going to press space with dots four six. Search for title or author. And that Next actually input. brings me to the search for title or author. Start search button button. And then there's search button. 
Hang on, type in my email. Yes, whenever I log into Bookshare, I get this, and I really don't know why that is. So I'm just going to the yes button. But I, yes, I want to continue. So I actually want to search for Rent, because um, I know Bookshare has the book of Rent, and um, I wanted to kind of check that out because I really liked the movie. Unfortunately, I have not seen it on Broadway. I really hope to one day, but I haven't. So I'm going to type rent into the search box. To find the search box, um, you just press space with dots four six, and that will bring you the first um, edit box on this page is search for title or author. So you don't need to go into forms mode or anything. You just, as soon as you, um, I'm going to go to the top of the page. Top of the page. And I'm going to press my 4-6 chord, search for title or order. and there Text we go, input. and then I just type rent, Start search button. Click. and Please wait. pressing enter, it's loading the page, search. now I'm just going to press R because it should um, be rent. And there we go, it says Rent by Jonathan Larson, and it's a link, but the, um, the Rent is, um, so, and so, um, so is Jonathan Larson, because you can click on the author or the title, if you want to see books displayed by the author, you just simply click on the author link. So I'm going to enter on the, um, John, on the Rent link. Please wait. And I'm going to choose to download in BRF. Now, I know uh, there's a link here that says BRF Braille Digital Format, so I'm just going to press B. And there it is. And I'm actually going to change that. I'm going to save it onto my um, PC card. Um, actually, no, I can't because I don't have one in. Um, do I have an extra flash card here? Dude, I really don't want to put it on this one. Well, I just might. I'm actually going to... Alright, well, we're not going to save it onto a compact flash card. I have problems with my compact flash card slot occasionally in the back of this, and I don't know why that is. So I, I usually use an adapter and put it in the PC card slot, which is now taken up by my wireless card. So I'm actually going to, um... Oh, is it? Okay. So basically what happened there was I couldn't, it wasn't letting me exit, so I just pressed um, an H chord, space with H, to see what it wanted me to do, that's um, to get help, and actually it just said to, to, co to continue press enter, and it took me back to the um, file download where, where I wanted to save it. So I'm going to save this to the flash disk, and I'm going to... I actually see this in my books. And I'm going to leave it as rent. And it's done! And I'm going to actually just show you how to unpack it. I'm going to go to the book reader with insert, I mean with yeah, insert right. With um, backspace and enter with B. It will allow me to unpack this. Going to not. I don't want it in general. Um. I'm going to save it in my books as well. 
I was just pressing M to password. navigate. Computer I'm typing in my password. Delete the original textbook. Yes, the textbook is called rentaflot.brf. Review the objects. And I'm just pressing enter, and Out it should load, and here it is. It says, run, Jonathan Larson. And then we have the whole um, lovely notices required for copyright, blah, blah, blah. That, that book sure puts at the beginning of every book. Um, let's see. Well, I think... That kind of does it. Um, I'll go back to the Bookshare website and just let you hear what the Braille Note sounds like reading a web page. I just pressed um, backspace with enter with I, and that brought me back to the web page. I'm going to go to the top of the page, and here is what this page sounds like. BRF Braille Digital Format. 153 kilobytes. This is a copyrighted book available for double to current members of bookshare.org. To open this book, you will first need to unpack it using the bookshare.org effect tool that can be downloaded from the double tools area. Synopsis. The you heard that, read, um, Jonathan Larson's musical opera, including the libretto and biographies of the original cast members. Table sale. You heard that beep to indicate a link. So that actually indicated that that was a link. Average customer rating, no ratings available yet, quality, excellent, almost no errors, language, English book size, 159 pages, ISBN 0688154379, copyright date, 1997, copyrighted by Alan S. Larson, Annette Larson, and Julie Larson, the column submitted by Harry Carlos. You can order an embossed braille copy of this book, embossed by the Braille so Institute, and mail to your That's to basically what it sounds like reading a web page. I really like the, the browser a lot. Um, I don't use it a lot uh, regularly, but it's kind of nice. I don't I don't have a laptop, so it's kind of nice when right now I'm outside. It's a beautiful day out. Um, it's I don't really feel like being in the house, so it's really great to just kind of be able to sit outside and download a book and go on the internet. Um, unfortunately, since the Braille Note is not does not run. It's not an open um, environment, so you can't, you know, have Skype or AIM or anything on the Braille Note, but I really, really enjoy it. I really do. Um, well, I think that does it. I'm going to turn off the Braille Note and, hmm, see, if the Olympus recorded it in MP3, I could upload this right from my Braille Note. But unfortunately, it doesn't, and I have to convert it to WMA. Bef I mean, from WMA before I can upload it. But that would be really fun. Um, and I can't run the Our Media tool. However, you can publish directly from Our Media um, if your file is shorter than 10 megs. I think. Anyway, that is not the purpose of this podcast, so I should stop rambling. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for your comments, for your feedback. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me at mek55 at optonline.net. You can visit, visit the podcast's page at www.livejournal.com slash users slash mmrrpodcast. You can also do it by going to mmrrpodcast.livejournal.com. Both of those work. You can leave me an audio comment at 206-339-6208. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you all soon. I'm working on another podcast. It's just taking me a while. What I would like to add very quickly before I end this is that I was using Keysoft 6.2 to do this, and I... Don't know if I mentioned when I did the Braille Note Empower podcast that the web browser in this is a lot faster and it's just a lot more pleasurable to use. One feature that I would have liked to demonstrate that perhaps I will do another time is the fact that you can stream audio, which is really kind of cool. You couldn't do that previously. When I get Keysoft 7, if I do, I will try to do a podcast on it. I hope to get Keysoft 7 soon. Well, thank you for listening. Bye.